All right, so just got this OBD2 sensor reader. Um, the interface is really nice. It's touchscreen. I believe it is Android based. When you first get this, make sure um, you turn it on and connect to your home Wi-Fi so you can do all the updates. Chances are you're going to need to update all the uh, the vehicle information now. I have a Toyota, so I only updated the Toyota and everything else that comes with it. But um, in the end, I ended up just updating everything, all the manufacturers out there. It didn't take too long. As long as you're on a fast Wi-Fi, it should update pretty quickly. Uh, you got just about everything you need. I'm no mechanic, but... Once I, you know, um, I used to have a lot of issues with my Subaru, so I was doing the little tiny OBD2 reader, which was okay, but I wanted to have something that was more intuitive, and of course this is, you're really getting what you, you know, pay for, but outside using this uh, controller here, um, it's just easier to just do the touch screen. It's going to automatically detect your VIN number. Um, and there's just so many menus and half of the stuff I don't even know. I would say I only know about 10% of what this is actually doing as far as what it's checking for. Like say the air, air to fuel ratio, um, something that most people would know is, you know, like the battery voltage, make sure. And speaking of which, I think my battery may be dying in the next six months or so, if not sooner. Um, it's been decreasing um, even at idle and um, I got to check out the, the voltage, but you can get the live reading right there. Uh, but there are just too many um, options to actually see uh, or tell you um, what's included. But, you know, you got the diagnostics um, and you have all these menu here. Select your vehicle if there's an issue. Look up like the, uh, the code. Um, I'm going to just put it away real quick because it's going to show my VIN number, which I don't want to. Um, but um, outside of that, it's nice and rugged it's it's really beefy actually it's like a giant tablet basically um there's my uh, hand right here but crystal clear um it's really uh bright out today but the screen is well lit so touch screen is very sensitive My outside of that it's uh i think it's an awesome tool especially if you work on your own car and you know or you're having issues but you really want to see outside just your basic obd2 codes and just dig down and you know just do your own diy mechanic stuff at home so definitely check this one out